Hey, it's Memorial Day weekend. By the way, thanks for everyone that gave the ultimate sacrifice and thanks for those that are still serving today. I know this video won't come out on Memorial Day. Our videos are always a few weeks late. We're in St. Mary's, Georgia. Tammy's with me. We're camping out. We're going to make some citrus St. Louis style ribs today. And this sauce we're gonna put on it is a homemade, you already heard me say it, citrus barbecue sauce. I've got a 2.9 pound. These are uh, St. Louis style ribs. Just going to take them out of this package. Some folks will rinse them off. I'm not going to rinse them off. I am going to pat them down, dry them off with paper towel. Both sides here. The next thing we want to do is get this membrane off the back. The ribs will be a lot better if you take this membrane off. You can see it's not too hard. Just get it started. Then use a paper towel. Now you can trim these guys up as much as you want. You can see I got a little flab here. Some people spend quite a bit of time. Um, that's up to you. I'm not competing for anything, so I'm just going to cut a little of this excess fat off, not much. And get these bad boys seasoned up. And I'm not going to use a binder. I am using the Armadillo Pepper Signature Barbecue Rub today. Look, use your favorite barbecue rub. These ribs are going to turn out good with this sauce we're going to make. Whether you use this rub, use your own homemade rub, or your favorite rib rub. Now, if you want to know more about the armadillo pepper rub, I will put a link in the video here. You guys have seen this a hundred times before. Just season up both sides. I'm going to let them sit here for about 10, 15 minutes while our A-Smoke uh, 350 is coming up to temp. And uh, we'll get them over to that A-Smoke. You can see I got them just about seasoned up here. I am going to do one more thing because we are cooking on this portable smoker. Oh, got a fly on there. That's okay. We'll cook off that goodness later. Just going to cut these guys in half. That way they'll fit on our smoker better, easier, whatever the right words is, whatever the right words are. Let me just touch them up and we'll let them soak up this rub. And what I've got in this cup. I would say it's roughly uh, two thirds of a cup of orange pineapple juice. Then I put in about a quarter to a third of water and a quarter to a third of rum. Now this new A smoke, this, this is the ashtray on this side, but on the left side is for liquid. And this will just steam the whole time during this cook and give us some extra flavor and moisture just pop the lid open, get that half on, get our other half on, and the lid down. I've got it set on the smoke setting. We're running 219 degrees, and I'm using cherry pellets today for these citrus ribs. It's been three and a half hours. We're starting to get some nice color on them, as you can see. But I'm okay if they get even a little darker. I'm going to have a look here. A little liquid left. I'm going to go ahead and put what we had remaining in there. Let's get this shut back up, get the lid down. Now for the rest of this cook, I'm gonna turn this on up. 250 for the rest of the cook. Got about a third of a cup of pineapple orange juice. You can just use orange juice. Here, I've got about a cup, cup and a third of ketchup. You got a little, what's this here sauce? I'm going to put about one teaspoon and a half. A little spicy brown mustard. What you say? One tablespoon. Let me just stir this up a little bit, see what she's going to look like. 
got about a teaspoon of garlic powder. The humidity here in Florida is giving my garlic powder a hard time. About half a teaspoon black pepper. Got a third of a cup of brown sugar. About a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of orange zest, lime zest. You know this is going to be delicious. Now we're going to put in bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. That's about one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons. Let's just give this a stir. We'll bring it up to a boil, simmer, give it a taste, see if we need to add anything. Now you can see it's thickened up here. You look at that, look at that beautiful color. I just tasted it. I want just a little bit more citrus flavor. So I've got about another third of a cup, maybe up to a half. Look, I'm cooking out, I'm measuring and things like this. I believe that's gonna be what we need. And then one quarter cup of dark rum. Oh, yes sirree. And I'll finish it off with one, two more tablespoons of that bourbon maple syrup. We'll bring it back up to a simmer, thicken it up, and it's going to be perfect. Those ribs are ready to be sauced. It's been five hours. I know that's a little bit long for ribs. It is what it is. You can see I'm finally starting to get a little pullback. See the pullback there? Now we're going to hit them up with that homemade citrus barbecue sauce. It just happens to have some rum in it. I don't know if you've cooked with rum. And you know, if you don't do alcohol, you got my respect, that's fine. But if you do, you want to kick up your game, cook with rum, add a little bourbon, really adds a whole new dimension to your barbecue. You can see we got this sauce, it's a little bit thin. That's exactly the way, oops, sorry. That's exactly the way I want it. I want to put just a paint a thin coat on there. Get the lid back down, let it go 15 minutes or so and check on it. Our sauce is set about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I did do both sides. Look at the beautiful color on these. Let's give these, plate them up. Give these bad boys a try. Clean bite. Right to the bone. <laughs> you found that funny, huh? Yeah, I did. I'm what do you think of that sauce? It's good sauce. My sauce is really good. It's got a, I can taste sweet. Pine, I taste pineapple and orange in it. Mm -hmm. Sweet from the juice mm -hmm. and maple syrup, I'm sure. Sticky. Mm. Hope, I don't know if it's blurry or whatever. That nice orange flavor, a little bit of tartness from, uh, I guess that's a lime, huh? Yeah, that's good. I like that. Thanks so much for watching our video today. We're out here, like we said at the beginning, in St. Mary's, Georgia, camping out. Just trying to have a good time. Have a great week.